It's showtime! Hey, yo, what up, fight worship or boxing fanatic? I'm back with another one. Check out what David Benavidez had to say about Canelo Alvarez not wanting to take the fight. Roll the clip. Close to 60 million. I think that's even before pay-per-view buys. After pay-per-view buys, it would have been a fucking killing. I wasn't getting nothing from nothing, no percentage. I was getting a, a, a fee of uh, five million dollars. I pay out all my people. I think I'm left over 3.5 before taxes. You know what I mean? So I was fine with that. I was completely fine with that. This guy was taking everything. He was literally taking everything. I'm not saying that he shouldn't. I mean, if he's entitled to, he's entitled. I don't give a fuck. I wanted the opportunity. It doesn't have anything to do with promotions, pain, or none of that. Canelo don't want to fight. Like, it's just, it's crazy how you guys can't see that. Some of the fans can't see that. He don't want to fight. Bro, every time Canelo says no, all his fanboys come up with a fucking million excuses for him. What lack of money in there? They're fucking offered him. They offered him to fight. Bro, if Canelo wanted to fight me, and he knows that's the most lucrative fight to be made right now, if he really wanted to make all that fucking money, the fight would have been made. That's what I'm saying. There's excuse after excuse after excuse. Bro, is he doesn't want to fight. I don't fucking care. Yeah. I represent Mexico. Well, as y'all just heard David Benavidez explain it all, this is what we're going to be talking about. Let's get into the video. One, two. One, two, one, so, two. So, David Benavidez was, you know, being interviewed, and he was asking about the Canelo Alvarez fight. And why he thought Canelo Alvarez didn't want to take the fight. He gave you every example why Canelo didn't want to take the fight, which I felt like, you know, if Canelo Alvarez would have took that fight, man, he was going to lose anyways, because I just feel like David Benavidez has what it takes to, um, I don't want to say get rid of Canelo Alvarez, but dominate Canelo Alvarez in the fashion that I felt like uh, Dimitri Bivol couldn't have, well, did and Floyd Mayweather did. But I thought David Benavidez would have dominated in a spectacular fashion. Just looking at all the fighters that Canelo faced and some of the same fighters that David Benavidez faced and the way David Benavidez was able to dominate them. Even though Canelo Alvarez may have got knockdowns and may got stoppages in, in the fights. Same thing with David Benavidez. Once his motor get to going, it ain't no stopping him from, you know, his motor getting turned it off. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's crazy and ironic that, you know, Canelo Alvarez had this amount, almost 60 million on the table for him. And David Benavidez, as he explained, after he pay all the taxes and the fees and all of that, he only left with like 3.5 million. So it was just the opportunity that David Benavidez wanted to, you know, uh, have in his, just on his record, just in his life. I think um, if Canelo Alvarez, he's never going to face David Benavidez. I don't care how much money is on the table. Just like he just turned down 60 million, not 55, 60 million. Man, that's crazy. Who wouldn't have done that? I mean, if you beat me, you beat me. Like Keith Thurman say, I got an O and ain't afraid to let it go. And uh, Canelo Alvarez, O, been left. Floyd was the first one that gave him his first loss. Then Dimitri Bivol. I thought that David Benavidez was going to give him his third loss. And Canelo Alvarez would have took that third loss. Even though people may say he stood the face of boxing. I don't see him being the face of boxing. I see Tank, Javante Tank Davis being the face of boxing. Even though Canelo Alvarez have two losses and Javante Tank Davis only have zero losses. But, I mean, it's no comparison. Tank selling out. Tank, you know, uh, doing a better, uh, bigger pay-per-view numbers. Um, selling out 10, 10 fights, 10, 11 fights in a row. You know, ain't no other fighter doing it like Javante Tank Davis right now, in my honest opinion. But I thought that David Benavidez versus Canelo Alvarez fight would have done some bigger numbers than this fight with Canelo Alvarez and Jaime Mugia fight. 
I don't think that fight is going to do great numbers because Canelo Alvarez was being criticized by his own fellow Mexicans. They was like, why did you choose Jaime Mugia to fight when they wanted to see him fight? Nobody but David Benavidez. Man, that's crazy. But um, that was just my thoughts of how I felt and what I see Canelo Alvarez has been running and continuously to run. He ran from both of the Charlos, he ran from Demetrius Andre, he ran from uh, David Benavidez, and they're still running. So it's like, man, I don't understand it. You know, like Canelo Alvarez want to cherry pick, and he only pick fighters that he feel like that he can win these fights against and make the most money to capitalize. Well, he feel like he ain't got to put in a lot of work to beat these guys. But I think the fight with him and Jaime Mugia, it's going to be a good fight. Um, until it lasts, in my honest opinion, you got two two Mexicans going at it. I mean, who won't want to see that? Even though they want to see the David Benavidez fight, which would be better, but Canelo got to face somebody that's you know that's gonna give him a better challenge, like the Dimitri Bivo fight. I don't think Canelo Alvarez want any more fights like that, in my honest opinion. But um, that's just my my thoughts and how I feel about it. Y'all, let me know what y'all think and. You know why Canelo Alvarez did take the fight. I right? make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace.